The Secret World of Cristobal Alvarez by Anne Swinfin. details the complex espionage activities centered around a conspiracy involving Anthony Babington and his plan to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I to restore Mary, Queen of Scots, to the throne. The protagonist, navigating multiple identities and allegiances, becomes deeply involved in the secretive world of Elizabethan political intrigue, driven by the meticulous machinations of Sir Francis Walsingham and his network of spies. Initially, the protagonist engages in covert activities, delivering coded messages and deciphering them, which underscores the era's reliance on cryptic communications for political maneuvering. The protagonist's internal conflict is palpable, as they grapple with their role within this web of deceit, balancing personal ethical dilemmas with the demands of national security. This dual struggle highlights the moral complexities faced by individuals entangled in political espionage. Throughout the narrative, there are detailed descriptions of the protagonist's cautious movements through London, their secretive interactions with Babington, and their coded exchanges, which provide insights into the operational tactics of Elizabethan espionage. The text also vividly portrays the psychological strain on the protagonist, who must maintain their covert identity while internally questioning the righteousness of their actions. The involvement of figures like Poli and the use of locations like the Taylor's House in Fleet Street as a meeting point enrich the narrative with historical authenticity and demonstrate the intricate network of informants and spies. As the plot unfolds, the protagonist's mission expands into a critical and risky phase, involving the interception and decryption of a crucial letter from Mary to Babington. This document is pivotal, as it potentially contains the names of conspirators committed to the assassination plot. The protagonist's role is not only as a courier but also as a decipherer, tasked with unlocking the secrets held within the communication. In the culmination of their espionage activities, the protagonist reflects on the moral implications of their actions and the overarching political consequences. The emotional and ethical turmoil experienced by the protagonist serves as a microcosm of the broader societal and political conflicts of the time, illustrating the personal sacrifices inherent in serving one's country during a period of intense political unrest. The narrative closes on a contemplative note, with the protagonist mulling over the human cost of political intrigue and the relentless pursuit of power. This reflection is intertwined with a detailed depiction of the operational aspects of Elizabethan espionage, from the crafting of false identities to the strategic use of coded language, ultimately providing a window into the complexities of loyalty, duty, and conscience in a time of national crisis.